now is the present topic. So I think your cabinet delegation is supposed to go. So what is your mind on these three issues? I think we will allow the the, the honourable chief minister first to brief the cabinet because we are on our way. Uh, yes, we are reading reports of this everywhere. Uh, ILP is something which we have discussed again and again. There are legislative uh, legislative actions also taken. There are governmental actions also taken. The MRSSA was also passed. It was also amended. It was also accepted. I think that uh, we need to have these parallel movements. I mean, let us not be too rigid. And if uh, ILP is something which has been said would get done, then I don't think there's an alternative. But because it is a government of India matter, you have to get consent from the government of India. And they are the ones who are in authority to actually serve the, the, the agreement or the nod for the ILP to be implemented in the state of Meghalaya. We'll wait for the Honorable Chief Minister to brief us and we definitely would like to see that these matters don't keep hanging fire. Public should not have the impression that we've put something on cold storage. Public should know for a fact that there are some certain matters because of the federal structure of this of the state of the country that we are all a part of. You have to conform to certain requirements and procedures. And uh, language issue. The language issue is again something which is we cannot we cannot imagine also that it has been left out of our purview. Of course not. We have been told that there are a few things, few steps that the government needs to take and those steps are being taken. You need to ensure that uh, you qualify on so many accounts. And I think it is an indigenous language and honorable chief minister himself, as you see, is already propagating that certain examinations should also start being uh, done in our local languages. If you want that uh, there will be no disparity of language, disparity of language is a very, very big deterring factor for aspiring students. And I would also agree with the Honorable Chief Minister. We can have a need, we can have a CUT in our own languages. I mean, if you are already having it in so many languages. So this is something which we will continue to fight for. And I think we are not the only state. Many other states also are waiting in line. So we we'll work on it and we will keep highlighting this to the government of India. In this country, the society, they lost faith in the government. They say that they will go to Delhi and for the last five years they have not done any government. <laughs> you see, um, don't want to comment on a on a comment of somebody who I would feel that it is unacceptable for anyone of repute to speak like that. And if you feel that it is such an easy cup of tea, and if you feel that if you should just go and then everything will be all right and we'll get recognition, I think a joint effort by all people is always stronger. Don't say that you've lost faith in your government so you'll handle it yourself. Because without your government also, you cannot handle it. Instead, let us rephrase that approach and say, let us all jointly voice our opinions. Make our case very strong. But surely no author's association can bypass the government's uh, authority. But an author's association can help make our case stronger. So jointly, we can work on this. I mean, why must it be them versus us? This is a common agenda of the people. So we cannot also hijack agendas like this. Because uh, you have to conform to procedure. I think they should be knowing by now that there are certain procedures. Because members of the Authors Association were also members of the drafting committee of the proposal, proposal sent to Delhi, the compilation of information, so it was never, you've never seen our, any government in the state of Meghalaya single-handedly do things. We, we need authors to help us. 
We need to find the data. We need to compile this data. The academicians are the best suited for all of that. And if there is any section of the community that can help us voice this and make it loud and strong, please join. But don't say that you've lost faith on any government because if you've lost faith on the government you have elected, then it's very unfortunate. Cool.